I'm like, you know, let's take him to Tractor Supply. internet friends how are we doing today how are we guys hi sassy hi emerel emerel leave her alone leave her alone morning riddler so whoa it went all blurry don't know when that happened um so i've got class this morning and then i've got to go on a bunch of errands like to the dollar tree and walmart and petco and CVS, and then go, taking a little bit to the vet later for his 12-week shots. Are you excited? Gonna go and get some love later. You are. Do you even care? No, not really. And then I need to clean my diffuser and wash my sheets. My dogs make my sheets look gross. <laughs> of course they do, they're dogs. So, that's what the day has. And if you guys can't already tell, I'm feeling great. Still got a little bit of sinus congestion and a little bit of coughing, but it's nowhere near as bad as it has been all week. So, woohoo! So, yeah, just wanted to let you guys know good morning. And it's actually morning, and I'll check back in with you later. Hey guys, so right now I am about to go into Petco. Um, but it's not to get anything for the dogs, though. I might be tempted if they still have that produce stand thing, get the banana. Because it had crinkly stuff and a little bit loves the crinkly things. Um, but I'm kind of feeling anxious. I'm going back again to talk to the general manager to see if he's seen my application. I've actually put in two now. One for aquatic specialist and one for just basically cashier. Because I'm desperate. And I feel like I am annoying him because I have been here several times. Asking about the same thing over and over again. I feel horrible. So I'm just like, uh, not looking forward to it. So, yeah, that's what's going on right now. Hey, guys. So I've got MRL with me. MRL. Hi, buddy. Hey, it's okay. We're going to the vet so we could get your shots, huh? So we could get your shots. I probably should pull out my wallet because it has the money in it. And then we may go to Tractor Supply together, because we need dog food. And we may do a little bit of training. So, just in case, if we do go, I brought his vest. Hey guys! There's Sassy Girl. I love you. There's Mr. Emerell. Hi, baby boy! And there's Mr. Riddler. Riddler! Hi. So... I need to tell you about the day with MRL because it has been awesome. So, first off, we went to the vet. And when we got the, there, there was this massive Rottweiler. Massive meaning he was fat. He was a very fat dog. But he, but this dog, his name was Sarge. He was very cute. Because you guys know I love me some Rotties. He got so excited. He was like, oh, I want to play with puppy. Of course, he didn't pull on the leash much, which was good for his mama. And Amarel responded great. He was, like, looking at him, wagging his tail. He was so excited, wanting to play with him. Of course, I wouldn't let him because he hadn't had his shots. But they could look at each other. And there was also a couple other breeds of dogs that came in. I think they were, like, bulldog mixes or something. And he didn't care, which was fantastic. He weighs 22 pounds, so in the past two weeks... He gained seven pounds, so yay! Um, and then I remembered I needed to get dog food because I forgot to get it at Walmart. While I got other stuff, I forgot dog food and cucumbers, but not the point. So I was like, you know what? Let's take him. He got his shots. He got his first rabies shots today. And he did really good, so I'm like, you know, let's take him to Tractor Supply. Of course, I called ahead and I asked just to be sure. You know, explain what I'm doing with him. And the guy, the manager was like, yeah, that's cool. So, I took him to Tractor Supply. And at first he was a little hesitant about the automatic doors. But of course I had treats with me, so he got a lot of treats. 
and I'll show you guys a clip of one of the things we did. Emerald? Hey. Emerald. Sit. Emerald. Sit. Stay. Emerald, stay. Stay. Nope. Oh, come here. We're working on it. Like, what I mainly did was, first I walked around the entire store with him. At different intervals, I'd have him do commands like sit, stay, come. Mainly sit and focus were the top two. Um, and he, of course, wanted to sniff everything. But he didn't get too far from me, mainly because I had the leash kind of short. And he did great. He listened pretty well. In the clip, he came before he was called to, but... And it took a minute for him to sit, because he was really excited. It was a new section. But he did fantastic. And then I needed to get dog food. And I had to get a cart. And it wasn't like one of those normal shopping carts. It's one of those that's low that you get animal feed. Um, so it has like a little basket at the top, and then it drops. So you can put bags of feed in. And he walks beside it just fine. Can I help you, buddy? You were sniffing at the camera. Riddler, are you want to say hi to your internet friends? No? <laughs> that look, though. MRL says I'm busy playing with either my reindeer or my lettuce. I can't decide which. And Sassy doesn't care. So, um, yeah, he did great. He walked beside there. And it was kind of hard pushing the cart with one hand and holding his leash in the other. So, at one point, after I got the dog food, I just flat out made a makeshift hands-free leash. Which, I had never trained him on a hands-free leash before. Especially not on a flat collar. Um, we're still working on leash manners. So, I just did it really quick, because I needed both hands. I was like, you know, we'll see how he does. He... He's chewing on his reindeer. He did amazing. Like... He couldn't pull as far, but he stayed by my side pretty well and would stay on one side a lot better than on the normal leash. Like, so I was very impressed. And, of course, <laughs> silly boy. Um, since I was mainly doing socializing with him, I let people pet him. Um, but I was very glad with, one, how he responded to strangers, and two, how strangers responded with him. So, he mainly met some varying ages of ladies. One in scrubs. He did meet a couple of men. One of them was bald. One of them was elderly. But they were all super sweet to him. Like, from afar, they would comment on how pretty he is. And I flat out would tell them, you know, it's okay to pet him. Because I'm socializing him. So, I had his in-training vest on. But I let them know, I was like, you know, you can pet him right now. Eventually, he gets where he should not be pet. And one of the ladies I talked to, she was like, she knew if, he, if a dog had a vest, they were working. Because she says she worked at a voting booth. And a lady would bring a dog that she was training for someone else. Which, of course, a lot of them thought I was training Camarell for somebody else. She asked questions like, you know, how old is he? Like, how long are you going to have him for? And I'm like, well, he's my dog. She's like, oh, it's for you. I'm like, yeah. So I was just very pleased with how people respected us. And nobody just flat out came to him unless I told them. So, and of course, everyone said he was very pretty. And then MRL responded well. He would just sit beside me and just kind of look at me. He didn't act nervous. He might have acted just a little bit, just kind of like looking at him. But when they would lean down to pet him, he'd start wagging his tail like, ooh, ooh, attention, attention. So, he did great. I am so proud of him for his very first yeah. outing out in public besides at the vet. So, I kind of got him a little toy. I got him a present. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Ay! He has a speak squeaker in here somewhere. I think it's in his boob. Yeah, somewhere there. Um... So, yeah, he did fantastic. I'm so proud of him. He did great. And now he is playing with his big brother. You did so good, buddy.
I'm so proud of you. <laughs> you are dragging your brother across the ground. About 60-something or 50-something pound difference between these two. Just remember that, ladies and gents. It looks like you're fishing for your brother. Look, there's the fishy. <gasps> get the fishy. Get the brother fish. Riddler, get your brother fish. You good boy. So now I'm going to go get a shower, work on the vlog, and put sheets on my bed. Which is the one chore I hate doing is putting sheets on my bed. And I will check back in with you guys later. Hey guys. There's Riddler. How you doing, buddy? You're watching your brother, aren't you? Because there's your brother. He just flopped over into the nap corner. And of course, there's my beautiful sassy girl. Already fast asleep. <coughs> so, got the vlog up. Yay! And I got everything done on my to-do list today. Including cleaning out my diffuser, which I forgot to get water for. And washing my sheets, which are actually still in the washer. But I have new sheets on my bed, so yay! Um, I am probably have said this a million times now, but I'm a very proud mama today. Because MRL did so good. I honestly wish I could have taken more video while I was at Tractor Supply, but... Obviously, my main focus had to be on him. And since it was a brand new experience for him, I had to make sure that it was a positive one. And it was. He was like, you know, I get love. I get petting. And lots of treats. Because, of course, I brought treats with me. The Zooks. Um, the I'd rather be with my dog treats. I make those special treats, so... He has to do something really, really good, which he got one when we got home, because he did so well. But usually I use the Zooks, or for a while I just use Kibble. I probably should just go back to use... Well, no, I couldn't use Kibble, because that's what I was there to buy. <laughs> so, there you go. Riddler, where are you going? Oh, are you checking on your brother? He's right there, it's okay. Oh. Now that's cute. You're such a good big brother. You're such a good big brother. Really? Mm -hmm. Alright, so now I need to brush the dog's teeth and then I'm signing off for the night and heading off to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Question of the day. I've asked this already. Well, I didn't. I asked this earlier today, I guess. Well, not really asked it, but you know what? What's a chore you hate doing? And why? Um, a chore I really hate doing is putting sheets in my bed. I am fine with stripping the bed and washing the sheets. Where are you going? Goodbye. <coughs> but I hate putting sheets in my bed. I don't know why. I just hate it. Just put your answers down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night, Sassy. Good night, Riddler. Good night, Emerald. Sweet dreams, everybody.